Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday's Reading the Red. Uh, we're um, looking at Matthew chapter 10, and uh, we're on uh, verse 27 today. Um, we need to remember that Jesus has given instruction to his disciples in order to equip them as they go out on their journey of being proclaimers of the gospel. And in the 27, Jesus says, What I tell you in the darkness, speak in the light. And what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim upon the housetops. What I tell you in the darkness, it could mean that he's going to be speaking to them as it were in his in the, in the night. It could be that he could be speaking to them in his sleep. Um, and it's true to say that the Holy Spirit has an incredible capacity to speak to us so clearly in our sleep. You know, Joel told us in the Old Testament, the prophet said that you, the old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. Um, and that sense of being spoken to by God was often uh, a way in which God would speak to the prophets of old. But what I whisper to you, as it were, what I speak to you, and all that conveys to us is this, is that we don't know, but God knows. So if God knows, what we need is for God to tell us. And the way God tells us is to reveal it to us. Now, he does speak. There are people that have heard God speak. But primarily, because God is spirit, he speaks to our spirits. So what I speak to you in the night time, perhaps in the dreams, what I speak to you as it were, what I whisper in your ear. And some people think, oh, you hear God because you kind of like plead and passion. But I have found God simply just is with you and walks with you and reveals to you. And he speaks to us in so many ways. We see something in the in the trees and and, and you know, just bring an inspiration. This morning, when I was out from my walk, I just thought about Adam hiding away from God in the garden. And I asked myself in my spirit, just simply this question, why did God go looking for Adam? And then very prominently, the spirit of God inside of me rose up and he just spoke to me and said, like in a whisper in my ear, and he said, I went looking for Adam that he might bring confession to me, that he might own his sin. And when God speaks to us, he wants to speak in order for us to be strengthened, to be equipped, to be restored, to be inspired. You know, he speaks for the good thing, to show us, to reveal to us, because we don't know, but he wants us to know. And what he wants us to know about ourselves, as well as want us to know about other people, he wants us to know about the pain and the hardship and the difficulty. Words of wisdom and words of knowledge are revelations of truth that God gives to us about other people or about situations or speaking into difficult circumstances. The right thing to say, the right thing to do, the right thing to apply. Learning to listen to God is incredibly important as a Christian because that's how we relate to God. That's how it works with us. So training your ear, listening to God is very important. Brothers and sisters, some Christians think God doesn't speak to them. God speaks every day. It's learning to listen to the still, small voice of God, even as the disciples did. Have a great Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow.